Thanks, James. Um, as James says, this come very much uh, to us as a parent, uh, trying to protect his children. Um, but he's been a fantastic asset to us. Uh, you just try to finger any piece of knowledge that we require. We're going to get you up, Liam, up now, and he's going to basically cover the last speaker, um, cover about a website where you get information and some other information on the past. Hello, uh, my name is Liam Black. Uh, Listening to all these people talking, basically one thing that I realise, and, and what you need to realise is, is your power is in knowledge. Knowledge is power, right? And what we need to start doing is we start need to use that power. So what we've decided to do is, is we've got a website up now and it's we're putting all the data for everything that you have heard today. That's all going up on the website, right? You'll be able to find that there. The other thing we're going to start doing is, is we're going to start doing lectures on common law because put up your hands here if you know how your rights are achieved. Can you stand, anybody here stand up in court and protect your rights? Right? Well that's what we're going to teach you. We're going to start teaching you common law, how you can stand up for your rights, how you can stand up to the police, how you can stand up to authorities, and it's very easy. Believe me, it is very easy. Right? It's all about paperwork. And what we're going to do is, is we're going to teach you how to do common law, and then what we want you to do is, is we want you to take anybody that discriminates you against wearing a mask or not wearing the vaccine, we're going to take them to court, right? Because the thing is, is the time is gone where we're going to stand and demonstrate and shout off. We need to start doing action. We need to start basically putting them on the back foot. And the only way to do that there is to use their own laws against them. They have basically been given, if anybody actually looks at any of the COVID regulations or anything, um, I've actually got one here, right? I'll just show you this. This is the COVID violations for the COVID regulations for the UK, right? This is their definition of a mask that's going to protect you against the virus, right? Their definition of a mask, they actually call it a face covering in law, right? Is any item that covers the mouth and nose. That's it, right? So are you trying to turn around and tell me that that's actually going to protect me against anything? The only thing it does is it gives you the get out clause, as I call it, right? And that is, if you go to the regulations, it tells you what the exemptions are, right? And the exemption that you need to know about is the second one, which says that will cause dis distress, right? Now, it causes me distress every time I put on a mask because I get angry, right? That's distress. That's enough in law to basically turn around and say, I'm not wearing this because every time I put it on, I'm going to start shouting at people. It makes me into a bad person, right? But what we want you to do is not just basically look at the laws and all the rest of it. We want you to start getting people together that have been discriminated against. Come and approach the Freedom Alliance and we're going to take them to court. We're going to take them to court for discrimination. Every single person that has gone to court for discrimination has won their case. Every single person that has gone to fight the COVID regulations have won their case. Right? This is because you need to understand how the law works. And what they're doing is, is, I'm just going to tell you how, do you know why you've got rights, right? Do you know why the government can't tell you what to do? It's because simply in our system, under common law, the government have no jurisdiction over the individual. It is only jurisdiction over commerce, right? And that's how your rights are protected. And it's as simple as that, right? You need to start standing up for those rights. You need to start exercising those rights. You need to start taking them to court. What they do is they put out the registration and anybody know how jurisdiction is achieved? Let me tell you how jurisdiction, because everything is jurisdiction. In the legal system, it's all jurisdiction. Jurisdiction is achieved in three ways, right? It is, you have jurisdiction over your body, you have jurisdiction over your property, and you have jurisdiction under contract. Those are the only three ways you can achieve jurisdiction, right? There is also another thing called tort law, which is actually a, a, a non-intentional act or against one's wishes will give you jurisdiction. But the thing is, is, so jurisdiction is property, your body, and under contract. 
Now that doesn't matter if you're an individual or you're a business, it still stands. Okay? And the jurisdiction is where we get them because they don't have jurisdiction over you. So you need to exercise that jurisdiction. Right? And we have the methods now of doing that. We have got the documentation, we have got legal advisors, we have got everybody nearly in place, not quite, but nearly, that we're going to start challenging this. And if you get discriminated against, there's a good chance you'll get a wee bit of compensation as well. Right? So what we need to do is, people, if you hear of anybody that has been discriminated against, if they want to go to Bell Sonic without having to be vaccinated, come and see us. Right? If you want to enter a shop without having to wear a mask, come and see us. We'll give you the paperwork to fire at them, we'll give you the legal stuff to fire at them, and if they still do it, then we're going to take them to court. Right? Because this takes action now. No more standing about demonstrating and talking about it and talking about it and thing. We need to swamp those courts with people basically saying, no, we've had enough of this. We're not putting up with it. And it's easy because all their regulations violate your rights and therefore they are void. And it doesn't matter what they say, they are completely void. And we need to take them to court and we need to prove that there. And let me tell you, as soon as a couple of the shops hear that they've been prosecuted for discrimination, you ain't going to have the mask signs up for much longer. No, they won't. But the thing is, is the vaccine, the other thing is, is a vaccine, it's still under trial. They cannot, under any circumstances, make you join a trial. And if they do, they have to accept all liability. Right? That is your, that's their Achilles heel, and that's our way out of this. Anybody that basically turns around and says, you require a vaccine, we'll give you the paperwork to basically present to them, to basically ask them for their, their liability insurance, their risk assessment, and also because it's a trial and they're entering the trial, they need a license to practice that trial, right? So we'll be asking for all that. We will be giving them so much paperwork, we'll give them a headache, right? Because the only way out of this here is if we all start standing up and basically start exercising our rights and start taking it to court. The more we lie down, they go, I'm not going back there, they don't wear masks. No, give them a letter. Turn around and go, you're going to prove it. Every single one, we have got a, there, there is no case precedence, by the way, there was a 12 year old girl who took her school up, right? And just to give you an idea of how bad the government are at defending themselves, that particular um, defense team put in 30 documents of scientific studies showing that masks didn't work, right? It was completely unrebutted. The defense didn't put up any argument against it and the judge threw the case out. Right, basically says if you don't produce the evidence then there is no reason for the mask, therefore they're void. And anybody can use that precedent in any case that they come up with. We have got that. We've actually got three. Right? So the thing is, is we have all the stuff to do this. We just now need volunteers to basically put themselves forward. Because unfortunately it has to be the individual that does the charges because of the way the system works. But if you're willing to basically step up to the mark, you come and see us and we'll give you all the information. We're also going to start holding seminars on common law so that you know what your common law is, you know how your rights are achieved, and you know how to defend yourself in court. Because <clears throat> unfortunately what you don't realize is whenever you walk into court and you get a solicitor, the first thing a solicitor does is hand all your rights over to the court, right? If you go into the court by yourself and they, do you understand the charges against you and you say yes, you've just consented to that court. You need to know what to do in court, right? And we have that as well. That's well practiced. I have done it 50 odd times. So the thing is, is it's, it's easy. You just have to get them to stick to the rules. We have got a six of them for that there as well. So basically everything is in place to take this up. So if you get COVID tickets or any type of thing, the first thing you do is you turn around. If the police charge you with something, the first thing you turn around and say, I would wish to exercise my right and have representation before punishment that is laid down in both the Magna Carta and the Bill of Rights. Okay, you do not have to accept the ticket for any reason. They then have to read you your Miranda rights and basically take you to court. And once we get them in court, we have them by the balls. Because we have the evidence to prove that this is a complete fiction and they know it and they will stay away from the court as much as they can. That is why all the court cases that are going on are dragging out, because they know as soon as it goes into that dock, they have lost, right? So basically, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start teaching you how. We're gonna start seminars. So keep an eye on the Facebook page, on the Telegram page, and on the website.
the website you'll see all the advertisements for the thing. There's also resources there. <laughs> There's all the information for the, the data that you need to basically to prove anybody that the vaccine's on their trial, the trial papers are on the website, right? Uh, if you want to prove that, uh, I don't know, the mask will work, all the documentation for the studies for the mask is on the website. And also on the website is templates that you can go and print out and hand over to your employer or to the person that's basically trying to discriminate against you because of a particular thing you're not wearing. All the templates are on the thing, on the website. So please go to the website and use that and please start standing up for your rights. Stop accepting the turn around and walk out of not wearing a mask. Take them up for discrimination, right? It causes me great distress. Remember, we've actually got it written in black and white here. It's our way out of this. And, the, and if you go for a, if you get a ticket for Bell Sonic, they require the vaccine. Let's have a look to see what their liability insurance covers, right? Because they automatically, that's another thing in law. If you make a rule, you accept all liability for that rule, right? And they're pushing this on the businesses because businesses have jurisdiction over their property. And that's how they're getting around the fact that they don't have jurisdiction. They're passing it on to the businesses to enforce it. We need to basically start fighting that, and the best way to fight it is start using their system against them. You know, the other thing that we were talking is, is if anybody has any ideas of getting back at that bastard Stephen Nolan, by all means come and talk to us, because I think what we need to do is we need to start ambushing that guy, right? Okay, we need to start turning around and have experts sitting on the sidelines ready to basically ring them up and say, oh, I'm a concerned citizen, I'd take the vaccine if I'm convinced. Uh, what's your name? Oh, Joe. You know, when you get on, you go, sorry, no, it's Al McCluskey here. <laughs> or Dolores Cattle, or Marcus De Bruyne, or any of the others that have come out. You know, because we need those experts on. I sat and listened to the Nolan show, and I never heard such a way of dodging the question. Right? Is this vaccine under uh, under emergency legislation? No. Right? They blatantly lied. You know, is it still under trial? Oh, all vaccinations are always under trial. What a load of troll. Right? So, that's basically the end of my little speech is I want everybody to basically go onto the website. If you want to contact me, my email address is liam at in, uh, freedomallianceioi.com. Uh, you can send one to info at freedomalliance.com, it goes to several of us. Um, and we need to hear your story and we need to basically take your discrimination to court. And the more court cases we can get going, the better off it's going to be for us. Okay, so thank you very much.